is a blue. Shoots up through the stony ground. There's no room. No space to rent in this town. You're out of luck. And the reason that you had to care, the traffic is stuck. And you're not moving anywhere. You thought you found a friend to take you out of this place. Someone you can lend a hand in return for grace. It's a beautiful day. Good morning, Hamilton Middle School. It's Wednesday, May 13th. So you're going to sign into your purple day classes. So our quote of the day is we learn more by looking for the answer to a question and not finding it than we do from learning the answer itself by Lloyd Alexander. And our learner profile trade for this week is inquiry. So our morning message to all you Huskies Happy Wednesday. Next year, DPS will probably start back on a regular calendar, but it might look different. So possibly there'll be some remote learning and also some in-person learning. DPS is working with health officials to the side. So we'll have an official update at the end of May or the start of June. Our multicultural celebration is this Friday. So find some family members and watch it, watch it with us this Friday at 2 p.m. We're gonna have a watch party. So don't miss our multicultural celebration. Don't forget to buy a yearbook. Time is running out. Student close out next week. We'll have more information on that for you in a little minute. Oh, well, I guess right now, not in a little minute. Student close out. So this will happen the week of May 18th, that's next week. There will be both AM and PM times available. We will share more details later this week. So for all students, we will collect musical instruments, textbooks, and library books. For students leaving DPS, or if you're going to another uh, district or you leave in the state, we will collect all your technology. So your Chromebook, hotspots, anything that you have, musical instruments, textbooks, and library books. Lockers and technology, lockers. So everyone, I know you want to get into those lockers, but due to the nature of our locker system and the safety procedures that are required for locker clean out, we will be waiting to clean out all lockers until students are once again in the building. So locker clean out will not happen until we are all in the building. And we are not collecting technology unless you are leaving the district. Eighth graders, you will take your Chromebooks to ninth grade and sixth graders should arrive from their elementary school with Chromebooks. Sixth and eighth graders, you need to complete your fourth quarter ICAP lesson. Seventh graders already did, so great job seventh grade. Sixth grade, your ICAP lesson is in Schoology. In eighth grade, you will complete your lesson through your history class. So if you haven't done it, we ask you to go on on Monday and do it. If you have not done it, please get it done this week. We have a reminder from Ms. Nias, only three more days to buy a yearbook. So Friday will be the last day you can buy a yearbook. So you need to go to yearbookordercenter.com and buy your yearbook if you want one anyway. We hope you want one. So now I'm gonna turn it over to Ms. Powell. Good morning, Ms. Powell, welcome. Good morning, Ms. Victor. Good morning, Huskies. Hope you guys are doing well. Wanna to talk to you about this week's kindness challenge. I uh, hope you guys are participating in it, Husky. So during this time, a lot of our 
elderly population. They don't have families that are able to visit them because of the nature of, <clears throat> excuse me, what's going on in the world today. So they would always appreciate you reaching out to them, dropping them a happy note, or just to let them know that you were thinking of them. Uh, we have some, <clears throat> excuse me, places that are near our school, and I know that they'll appreciate sweet messages from you all. So drop them a line. Here are some uh, resources for you in the dark purple box. Reach out to somebody, they'll appreciate it. Husky. <clears throat> Pardon me. Our learner profile, as Ms. Victor did say, is being an inquirer, so. I have a quote for you here. We nurture our curiosity, developing skills for inquiry and research. We know how to learn independently and with others. We learn with enthusiasm and sustain our love of learning throughout life. And that just means that even if it's something that is difficult, you still push through it because every opportunity is an opportunity to learn. Also that you're curious in what you want to know. So always keep using that curiosity, always inquire because that's the way that you move forward and that's the way that you learn new things. I also have something else to tell you guys. We have a guest today. I'm excited to introduce Miss Murphy. Good morning, everyone. Hi, Huskies. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to be talking to all of you. It's been so long. Um, I want to take a moment to talk with you guys about doing um, a wellness activity and taking some time out of your day to be reflective about, you know, what, what we're going through right now and all of the things that we're feeling. Um, you guys know that this is really important to me because uh, if you've been in my class, we start the day every day like doing thorns and roses and talking about this. And um, so let's take a moment to dive a little bit deeper. Um, today, in between your classes, um, take some time for yourself to really start thinking about the, the challenges overall that we're facing. Um, maybe you want to like make a page in a notebook or on a scratch piece of paper that kind of looks like the design that's on this slide and um, start by making a list. You know, it can be everything from like the small things that are bothering us. Like you guys know that during Thorns and Roses, I used to always say that I ran out of coffee for today, um, all the way up to like the really big, really serious things that we're going through right, right now, like not being with our friends and family and being, um, not being in school and maybe being stressed out about online learning. Put them all on a list and then maybe start prioritizing them from smallest to greatest so that you can kind of think about what are the smaller things that maybe you have some power over fixing that you can like cross off your list. Um, and just spend some time like really thinking about them and you know, whether that's designing and drawing on your page or um, just you know, writing things out. Husky. Um, and while, you know, after you get your list kind of put together, take some time to think about our strategies for what we can do to like attack all of those things that we wrote down. Um, there's a little list over here that kind of has some tips for you. Uh, so take a second and kind of glance at this list. The third and fourth bullet point are really important to me. Taking your time. You guys, you have a really long list of assignments to work on every single week, and it might feel really overwhelming because when you click on like the math folder for my math class, it comes up with a whole list of like even more things that you have to do. Um, so taking a second to really take your time and going through each step uh, one by one is a great way to like slow down and attack some of those smaller problems and get them out of the way and off of your off of your page and practicing gratitude. You guys sent us so many wonderful messages last week for Teacher Appreciation Week. That meant so much to us as teachers. And, um, you know, think about other people that you can reach out to, like Miss Powell said, reaching out to like the seniors in the Senior Center, um, reaching out to any of your admin, like Miss Victor or Dr. Sawyer or Miss Shear. And um, just thinking about, you know, who can you reach out to today to like put some positivity out there and share some gratitude with others. Um, and also remember like that last bullet point there, accept success and failure as part of life's journey. 
You guys, we've never done online learning before like this. This is brand new for all of us and we're getting a lot better at it now that we're in, you know, week six um, and it's been really hard, but like, you know, there's been failures for all of us along the way and like, let's just accept those and let's make a plan for what we can do in the future for the next last three weeks at school. We can do this. Husky. All right, so today, here's your schedule. Hopefully, you know, you're watching this right first thing in the morning. Um, have some breakfast and set up your learning space. Get your pencils, get your papers. Um, make sure that you've got your computer and your charger close by so that you have like one space where you can do all of your work that you need to get done for today. Um, today is a purple day, so check in with all of your purple day teachers. Make sure that you're doing attendance for every single Purple Day class, every single day. I know that it's a lot to go in and find the attendance for each class, but it is so important that you do this. And please go to live office hours. Um, find the schedule that has all of your teacher's office hours on it for sixth graders. It's the slideshow called Week at a Glance. And please go in. We miss you guys so much. Please come say hi to us. Um, between 11.30 and 12.30, take some time to have some lunch and do that wellness activity, that journaling that we were just talking about. Um, and Or maybe you wanna do lunch first and then do the self-care, like it says here on the schedule, 12.30 to 1.30, right in your journal. A lot of you guys know that that's something that's really important to me and I try and do that almost every day. Take some time to read between 1.30 and two. And then this afternoon, get um, complete your kindness activity and write a note um, to a senior in one of our um, senior centers that Ms. Powell was talking about. That's really important and it makes a huge difference. I know you guys have seen those TikTok videos that people are doing it. You need to join it and do it too. Um, and don't forget to check your email right at the end of the day and make sure that um, you don't have any messages from Ms. Murphy or any of your other teachers because we've been emailing you guys a lot and we want to talk to you. And I uh, can't wait to see you guys in office hours. Thanks, you guys. Thank you, Ms. Murphy. We appreciate that. We're so happy you joined us today. So tune in each morning at 9 a.m. Don't forget, or if you forget, you can always watch it later, uh, Huskies. Buy your book if you want one. Remember, time is running out. Eighth graders, mark your calendar for our virtual, our very first virtual continuation. Ms. Powell is working really hard on it. It'll be May 28 at 6 p.m. Check all of your classes for progress updates. If you haven't, you should have gotten those on Friday. And then mark your calendar for this Friday for our 2 p.m. watch party for our multicultural celebration. So, as we say each day, let's remember who we are. We are the community of Hamilton Middle School. Let's make it a great day. Go, Go Huskies! Huskies. <laughs>